Hi everyone, today we're checking out some amazing resources for you to build your UX UI portfolios. Some of these are AI powered, some are from amazing companies like Microsoft, Spotify, etc. As well as a short tutorial at the end on how to use Google Gemini in order to improve your design portfolio. All right, so the first resource is called Pafolios. In this website, you get various case studies, portfolio designs, etc., from very famous designers as well as projects. For example, this real cool Duolingo case study that they've created. You also have 320 plus case studies as well as portfolio designs. For example, Atikar has designed this really cool portfolio design which you can take inspiration from or steal like a designer. And you can check out all his case studies as well for different projects, etc. So overall a cool inspiration based website for portfolio designs and case study designs as well. And they're bringing new ones every Monday. So signing up for the free newsletter is also welcome. The next resource is called Career Strategy Labs. And Career Strategy Labs not only gives you portfolio and case study instructions, but it also improves your overall standing in the UX design industry. So it has everything from podcast, articles, newsletter, UX portfolio course as well. So it is a three week live sprint, one that you can take just to build your UX portfolios using your designs and how you can effectively portray it to recruiters. They also have a page dedicated to UX career coaching to help you get promoted, improve your standing, improve your portfolios, resumes and whatnot. They even have cheaper alternatives to their more expensive courses, which is an annual review workshop. You have the UX career roadmap, which you can check out from their website and you can get it for completely free. And you can even get one free masterclass from them. What's cool is that they have a UX case study template built inside Google Doc. So if you want something like this, you just enter your email, your details, and you'll get this free template in your email immediately. All right, so this next one is super exciting because AI is gonna be useful for designers for a change. Now, Drawer is a design job centered platform and they have a plethora of things, including portfolios. So check this out. Now there's a section called learn what your portfolio is missing. Now what's cool about this website is even if you don't have a complete portfolio or you have work in progress or an NDA, you can always specify. Once you upload everything, AI automatically analyzes your links that you've given, portfolio links, website links, etc., And it scans everything and extracts stuff for you. Now inside the dashboard, there are so many different options for portfolios, case studies, jobs. Here, as you can see, there is something called UX case studies. So based on your position and what can help you out, they will list out some really cool UX case studies from all over the internet. As you can see, thousands of people have viewed this very large community they have. You can check out how this case study was created, all the information given here. They also have a ask product designers section. So if you want to ask for any suggestions, improvements, feedback for your designs, case studies, whatever, and it will take you to your email and you can send an email to draw.com. If they like your question or it's a valid question, they'll put it up in front of product designers from various companies as you can see here and will get you a new perspective on your portfolio from these product designers. There are already some valid questions that have been answered by these product designers. It's kind of like an interview that they do with them. And each designer kind of gives their perspective and it sort of looks like an article format. You can even reach out to some of these product designers. They might even get back to you. They've also recently taken out something called a career planner for product designers. This will help you get a proper career plan based on creating portfolios, case studies, etc. It's coming soon. So signing up for it will be really cool so that you get updates on this as soon as possible. The next resource is called tools from Spotify.design. This is the official Spotify design team portraying their resources and assets on this website. There are a bunch of resources you can find here. Everything from certain niche case studies, for example, this heuristic case study, design productivity blueprint, Spotify remote design sprint template, worksheets, design assets, as well as Spotify process. So here you can learn how the entire design process at Spotify works. You might even be able to use some of these in your portfolios and case studies when you're making them. They have a variety of pages you can check out. Everything from inspiration from real designers at Spotify and how they became product designers, how they improved their portfolios, etc. If you want to know how a company like Spotify hires, they have a how we hire section. So here they will give you everything that you need to learn. Now, by now you guys know about Tome. Tome is an AI powered tool that allows designers to create presentations quickly and everything is done by AI. They have a template called the case study template. 
you can always pick this template up and after this all you need to do is ask ai to do your work for you you can open this little tab bar at the bottom and inside this bottom tab bar as you can see there are various assets that you can import even your figma designs can be imported you can even generate images text etc using ai and you have the power of ai in your hand so everything from the content to the designs can be done with ai as you can see here there is an uh, there are ai options all across the board i think a really cool asset to check out to if you're creating your portfolio this could be really really helpful now we all remember google's ux course which became very popular however there is a not so popular video of theirs which i wanted to share with you guys this is called the build a website design portfolio by google Google UX design certification. You can use this entire tutorial where they take you through each and every aspect of creating UX case studies as well as portfolio designs from a Google's Google designer's perspective. All right, my camera's battery is dead. I didn't realize, but I promised you guys a cool little tutorial at the end, and I'm going to stand up to that promise. The first level being asking Gemini to be your assistant or to be a mentor for you. How does one do that? You can always ask it like you would ask a human being. I am a junior UX designer in India. I would like you to be my career and design coach. Now you've told Gemini what sort of profile or what sort of person it should role play as. And as you can see, it's already started to mention things that it can do for you right here. Apart from all these things, the next level is to actually import your portfolio designs here and ask for real feedback. Let me just show you how we write it down. At the bottom, there is of course this prompt here and here there is the image tab. So if I click on this image button here, it will upload my portfolio. For now, I'm going to pick up a UX case study from a designer at Amazon and I'm just going to put it right here and it starts to upload. Once it uploads, just type in what you would like to see from it. So here we can type in something like, can you help me improve my portfolio website? We've already mentioned what it should look at and what it should do for us. And now we are giving it our portfolio. If I click on submit, Immediately, it starts to scan this image from here and it's and it will give me a prompt answer. All right. So immediately it starts giving me some suggestion. Sure, I can help you improve your portfolio website based on the screenshot you provided. So it starts with content, showcase your design process. The text mentions you're passionate about accessibility, but it doesn't show how you integrate that into your design process. So again, it started to read what is written in the screenshot and based on this screenshot, it is doing what it can by helping us improve and give us proper suggestions. It also gives us design tips and tricks around how we can improve our portfolio design, which is right here. I know there's a lot that can be improved here and it's mentioning the things that even I as a designer can look at, including things like navigation, white space, visual hierarchy. It also gives you other resources that you can study for to make a good portfolio design. So you can always find Google search results from here according to your question. The third and the final level is to ask it to create a final case study for you as a text document. So here what I can ask is, can you create a UX case study for the Amazon app. And luckily, if you're lucky enough, it will give us a good answer. As you can see, immediately it starts to write a case study for us. UX case study, optimizing the Amazon web mobile app home screen. Gives you a nice little introduction, which could be your project intro as well. Your current designs that are available on the Amazon app, and it kind of mentions certain features. And it gives you user pain points, proposed solutions, apart from proposed solutions, even help you evaluate and iterate based on testing cycles. So you can check all of this good stuff, everything that can be de done based on text, a fantastic starting point and a great solution if you're trying to improve or become a UX designer, create a portfolio, or even improve your current portfolio. All right, guys, that is it for today's short video. I post such content every week. So to keep up with my content, my designs, etc., make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. And hit the like button at the bottom. That really helps me understand what you guys like more. And based on that, I can create better video. Comment down below your favorite portfolios. Who knows, maybe somebody gets help from that. And I'll see you next time. Until next time, take care. God bless.